guys welcome back to another video from Zenji's homestyle cooking so in today's video I'll be showing you how I prepare my delicious refreshing sorrel drink okay so sorrel is the most popular Jamaican holiday drink during the Christmas time as well as during the New Year season but hey you don't have to wait until any special holiday for you to go ahead and consume your sorrel drink all right so one thing i know is that no christmas dinner in jamaica is complete without our delicious sorry all right so the hibiscus flowers which is also known as jamaica as sorry in late november into early december all right so guys it has a lot of health benefit but we're not going to get into those today we're going to focus on the drink itself and how it is prepared all right, so let's go ahead and break down all the ingredients that we're going to need for today's delicious, refreshing drink. All right, so I have here, this is two pounds of fresh sorrel. And I know that for like persons living overseas and stuff, you will not be able to get the fresh sorrel, but you'll be able to get the dry one, which were just as great as the fresh sorrel. All right, so I like to add some cinnamon leaf to mine. And everybody does their sorrel drink different. This is how I've been doing mine over the years and it always turned out great. Everybody always enjoy my sorrel drink. Okay, so some cinnamon leaf here as well as some pimento berries. And I have here some crushed ginger. You don't have to crush the ginger. You can grate the ginger or blend it. But I want to go old school today. Okay, this is what the ginger would look like if I did not crush it. All right. So I want to show you something before I start preparing it. This is what the sorrel looks like before it is harvested. The sorrel or the hibiscus flower. All right, this is what it looks like. So right here, prepared today, which is this. This is how it looks. And then it comes with a seed inside. So this seed is removed and then this is the part that is consumed. All right, okay. So let's go ahead now and start here this is about four parts of water all right so one thing i want you to know guys you do not boil sorrel all right we steep sorrel or as my mom would say we draw the sorrel all right so first thing first what i'm going to do i'm going to allow my ginger and my pimento berries and my cinnamon leaves to boil for at least five minutes with doing so this is going to just release all those delicious flavor so we can get it in the infuse it into the sorry all right so i'm going to allow this to boil for five minutes once that is done then i will be adding my sorry to it all right five minutes has passed and trust me guys the ginger is really strong the smell in the kitchen i'm telling you so i washed my sorry and now i'm going to start by adding it to my pot, I want it to spill all over. So I'm just removing the pot layer with my hands, right? So I'm going to give this a minute or so. I'm just going to bring it up for a minute. And then turn it off. Just look at the color already, guys. And it's just in for a couple of seconds. Okay, so now guys, as you can see, look at the color. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to cover it and allow it to steep for overnight. You can do it for a day, you can do it for two days before preparing it, okay? So once that is done, then we're going to mix up this delicious drink. Look at the color, guys. Super red and rich already, right? So I'm going to it is finished steeping. I've been steeping a day and a half. So I'm going to go ahead now and strain it. You want to ensure that you have a really small, not in size, fine sieve when you're doing it, okay? Because you don't want any of the soil particles to be a part of the drink, all right? I'm 
and look at the color oh my gosh it's so pretty gonna finish this up and then I'll start mixing the soil okay so I'm gonna walk you through everything that I'll be using as sweetener and also flavoring okay so now guys I'm gonna go ahead and start sweetening my soil as you can see no form of sorry petal is inside the drink all right so for sweetener you know you use sugar all right so I like when mine is a little bit sweet not too sweet but a little bit sweet that's when the ice and stuff and the ice melt inside the drink it's not that fresh all right so i also as i mentioned earlier that normally sorrel when you're making your sorrel you use some white rum as well as some red label wine all right but if you don't like alcohol or you don't consume alcohol any at all you can just omit these ingredients just go ahead and mix it with some sugar you remember you have your ginger already and all the flavoring the pimento berry as well as the cinnamon leaves so you should be good to go because when I'm mixing it I do two separate batch one for myself as well as one for my children okay so I'm going to use some Rhea Nevio good white rum overproof rum and this rum is pretty strong as well as some red label wine and I like to add a bit of Jamaican ginger wine or you say stone ginger wine inside mine okay all right so let's go ahead and start mixing So I'm going to add about a cup of sugar and I'm using light brown sugar to that all right just look at that guys the color is gorgeous trust me the beautiful red oh my gosh this is so refreshing some ginger wine so I'm not going to say any measurement you add as little as much as you want but you don't want it to overpower the soil with all the alcohol that the soil actually lose its actual soil taste all right and i'm just going to add some rum to this just a little bit more all right also add my red label wine as I said, you don't want to overpour it too much with too much of the alcohol, then it's going to actually lose. It tastes you're drinking just rum and wine and all those stuff. So no, we don't want to do that, okay? So I'm gonna continue mixing this up. And then I'm gonna taste to see if I need to add any more sugar to it. to add any more i'm tasting my sorrel with the rum and all of those stuff which that is exactly what we're looking for okay all right so now i'm going to go ahead and serve this and this is what i will be using because i'm planning on giving each of my family members one of this bottle all right so i'm going to fill these up and guys if you do not plan on drinking your sorrel right away you just want to go ahead and make your sorrel you know that you can store it i prepared some i'm just going to show you how they used to do it back in the days so if you prepare the sorrel and you don't want to drink it right away if you don't want to drink it right away you can go ahead and store it without putting it in the fridge all right so this has been prepared about a week ago so what i did this um add the white rice to the bottom then pour my sorrel and it has been sitting there for a week so when I'm ready to drink my sorrel next week now, I can just go ahead and sweeten it and put it in the fridge. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead now and pour this up, then I'll show it to you guys. Alright, so guys, 
so I'm just gonna pour some and what I did I just all right when you're doing your sorrel drink and if you don't want when you add the ice to the sorrel it is fresh you just can add some of the fresh sorrel once it is drawn everything cool down and freeze it all right so this is what I did so I have some sorrel cube here so I'm just going to pour some of the drink over it oh my god this is just so rich There you have it guys my delicious sorrel drink and trust me this drink is so refreshing it's so tasty trust me you're going to enjoy it once you try it i hope it will make it to your holiday table and be a part of your christmas dinner all right so also what i did was just to add some little you know holiday sticker to my container i give each of my family members one of these drinks all right so i want you to try it and let me know how do you like this drink if you like it if you're a fan of sorrel or not just let me know down in the comment section down below okay so once again i want you to go ahead like this video share it with your friends and your family and if you hadn't yet subscribed to my channel guys go ahead and do so subscribing is all right so until i come your way again with something delicious from my kitchen to yours take care guys